Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a little bit of a situation going on in my office as you could tell. It's a little messy. Um, everything behind me I have got to ship. So I just got done with the doctor's appointment. Everything looks great. I'm Ashley by the way, for those of you new here. I sell on eBay and Amazon. I do this from home part time while home with my boys. I am currently pregnant with my third son and everything looks good. Doctor's appointment went well. I'm just kind of updating you guys on my life today. I'm taking you along with a big shipping day. This weekend was super massive with shipping and I had a ton of orders and I'm gonna explain them in a second. This one over here, right there, hiding in the corner, right there, could be my biggest single sale on eBay ever. So I will let you know what that is and get this stuff shipped and then come right back here and talk to you guys about weekend sales and update on my life and maybe a little vlog throughout the day. Sales have definitely been massive this last month. My highest ever, $12,043, which is great. That little box makes up quite a bit of those sales. Again, I will explain that in a second, but yeah, let's get to shipping. I've got to hurry because my postal pickup comes randomly. So I never know when they're gonna come throughout the day. Sometimes they come as soon as like a half hour from now. Sometimes they come a little later in the afternoon. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hurry and do that, put those out front and meet up with you guys after that. While I'm shipping really quick, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of quick tips. One thing that I think makes shipping a little bit faster is if you bag everything and label it just with a pen, the item name and the weight. And then when you're going through the shipping, it's really fast just to grab them. It's kind of like compartmentalizing two tasks. While you are bagging and tagging, getting everything ready, you can just have all your materials out to do that and then you have it all labeled and then while you're shipping, you're not having to stop and rebag or get stickers on something or something like that. So it's been a really convenient way to get my shipping done quickly. As you can see, I have a big stack behind me that's done, a big stack over here that's done and now I'm just getting the shipping labels on and postal pickup hasn't come yet. So here's the hoping that I get to squeeze this in just under the wire. Thank you, babe. Yeah. It's a three bin kind of day. Got the B-roll. Yeah, that's great. Keep them hidden. Keep them hidden a little bit. Okay, feels so good to get all of that done. It's about $3,000 worth of stuff that I'm just gonna sit here and like the postal pickup should come any minute. I just do wanna make sure it's secure. As you can see, I just wanna give no illusions about my house, you guys. We've got breakfast still here. It's a mess. Like I have so much that I need to clean. I need to show you the basement too. Yeah, this is state of the basement. That's awesome. And just as a, an FYI, this is where I've been keeping some extra inventory that I have been accumulating. I have a lot of inventory lately, as you guys know. So do I need to clean all of this? Yes, I, it drives me crazy when the house is super untidy like this. But am I gonna eat lunch first? Yes. <laughs> it's always such a relief when I get shipping done. And I should have got it done before I went running this morning, but my pregnancy and the baby said no. So <laughs> I did it later and I'm just glad that I caught postal pickup before they came. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've got laundry going, I've got dinner going. This mess is not really cleaned up too much, but this is just my life. My life is a little bit hectic and crazy, and there's just some things I have to tackle today. I do have a lot of stuff that I'm going to list, a lot of great stuff, but I wanted to share some of the things that sold this weekend and why it was such a crazy weekend of sales for me. Yeah, this weekend was insane. I think I had about $3,000 in sales, as I showed you guys with all the bins. The most expensive by far was a Louis Vuitton bag, <laughs> which I picked up from someone locally, and Turned out it was authentic. I got it authenticated by real authentication. This isn't a plug or anything. It's just a service that I use sometimes when I need to authenticate. I've authenticated a few purses from them actually and it's always been really good. So it's a service that I can recommend. Um, you will be paying, you just take a bunch of pictures and you have, they have an app even or a website and you can just go through there and it works great. A Louis Vuitton Alma BB monogram bag in new condition. I won't say exactly what I paid for it, but I paid a heck of a lot less than that. So it was a really good flip for me. This is actually my first time, I think, finding authentic Louis Vuitton. It is faked, 
so so often it's really hard to tell the difference between a fake and a real actually it can be, can be really tricky one of the things that I've I mean I've learned a few things about authenticating Louis Vuitton in my years of reselling and one of the things you can look for is is the gold hardware if there is gold hardware is it super super shiny and bright if it is that's probably fake the real Louis Vuitton hardware actually has some dullness to it and it has a little bit of texture to it it's not like this super hard shiny surface so that's one thing to think about another is i've noticed that on on counterfeit louis vuitton bags the font saying louis vuitton is looks a little stretched out and the authentic louis vuitton font is more squat looking and i'll of course give some examples here also the embossing like when it's embossed into the leather the logo or whatever else it's not embossed super deep it's actually pretty shallow embossing it will be perfectly center as you guys know the stitching will be absolutely perfect and the same goes for the embossing on the hardware it will be lighter than they do on the fake ones it will it won't be quite as indented it will be a little bit flatter so i know it's like really vague it's really hard to tell unless you're holding one and really holding them side by side and seeing. But I can vouch for that. That was some of the key indicators to me that this was actually authentic and I'm really glad that Real Authentication was able to confirm it for me. Yes, I got that from someone locally. They also sold me a few other things. So it was a really great deal. We're looking to get rid of stuff and I was ready to pick it up and they knew exactly what I did, you know, and it was totally upfront and it was great, great flip for me and I'm really excited. You know, I did when I shipped it, I shipped it fully insured and um, signature on delivery and super, super careful packaging. So my fingers are crossed that it just gets there safely. I wanted to try out selling it on eBay to a really good buyer. I think, I think this buyer has great positive feedback and they seem like a very legit buyer. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited and nervous. I don't think I've ever been so nervous to have a package go across the country, but fingers crossed everything goes smoothly. Okay, these car parts that I sold, these Putco car parts, I actually picked them up, I mean, this is years ago when I got my huge car part haul and they were still in my garage, you guys, they were unlisted. So that was totally my fault. My husband and I have been going through the garage trying to clear it out and get all of our old stuff out and really just organize it, it's just a mess. The plan is to put more inventory in there because I'm gonna start running out of space with the amount of volume that I'm getting. So we are currently cleaning it out. I noticed this big stack of car parts and my husband was like, have you listed these? And I was like, hi, I don't think I have. And sure enough, like I hadn't listed them and I got half of them listed. The other half I need to get done, but they sell for $150 each. I had six of this particular part, these air dam covers, and they sold, three of them have already sold. So that just tells me that I was sitting on some money and I am really dumb. So I'm really glad that these are selling. I have six more, I believe they're called hood decks and those will sell as well. So gotta get those listed, but I'm really happy that these are selling. Yeah, they sell for $150 each and I charge $20 shipping on these. Um, they generally cost between, yeah, $16 to $20 to ship. So it's been really good so far. These are some Georgia Boot Company leather boots. And this was a brand I hadn't really heard of before, but I picked these up doing some retail arbitrage and sure enough, they sold for $100. It was a really good flip for me. One thing I'm noticing with like retail arbitrage or you know, going out to stores and buying things that are new is you are paying up a little bit for them, but your average sale price goes up as well. So if it's something that you're pretty confident you can sell really quickly, it's worth the money that you're gonna invest in it. Of course, ideally you're picking things up really cheap. I mean, this was just an experiment that I did. And like I told you guys, I'm doing a lot of experimenting since the beginning of the year with inventory. But yeah, these sold really quickly for $100. Um, they're really good quality. And I actually have a couple more pairs that I'm hoping to sell as well. These Lily Pulitzer dresses have been selling really, really well for me. These were an online arbitrage grab and they were on sale and I got a bunch of them. So they're selling for an average of 91 to $124 each. These are the Marco Maxi dress. I talked about this in my last video. They're the Coco Island Maxi and they're selling like crazy. I'm so happy that they're selling. Um, I'm, I'll be really sad actually when they run out because they've sold so great for me. I also sold these Nike Kyrie Irving Kybrid shoes and they were also new without the box. These sold for $105 overnight. They were a large size in a size 13, which 
is typically larger than I think I like to pick up or a lot of people like to pick up, but it sold overnight. So that tells me that it was a sought after item and I'm really glad that these sold. I am not like the best with sneaker grails and you know, great sneakers to flip. Like there's so many people with vast amounts of knowledge, but I will say I'm not intimidated to try to learn. So I, this is something I'm learning a little bit more about and I'm really excited to continue to learn. This is the year of me venturing into some new territory with what I'm learning and what I'm trying to do. But I'm really glad that these sold. These were part of my weekend sales. These are some Zenergy by Chico's leggings. These sold for $35 plus shipping and they sold really quickly. I would say Chico's is good for eBay. It can be hit or miss if it's new, newer with tags, newer recent, more recent season. I would say it can sell a little bit faster. Zenergy by Chico's is actually a brand that I've had quite a bit of success in flipping. So I wouldn't pass it up if you see it. Chico's has a following, not for a ton of money, but it's definitely something that you can easily flip, especially if you're finding it like at a thrift store or at the Goodwill outlet. These are some Patagonia men's wave fair shorts. These are pre-owned. They sold for $34.99 plus $10 shipping. I didn't realize I had $10 shipping on those. Oops, but that's all good with me. I knew that they would sell. These are a really popular short brand style from Patagonia. I love, I mean everyone loves selling Patagonia. It's so great. These shorts I believe are wet dry. You can wear them hiking and then in and out of the water and they're, they dry really quickly. So these were great and they sold very quickly. These are some vintage Polo Ralph Lauren men's trunks and they are like these really cool quilted vintage style. Uh, I picked these up at an estate sale actually. I picked up a lot of really cool vintage swim trunks and shorts. And sure enough, they sold for $28 plus $7 shipping. I was really happy with that. Vintage Ralph Lauren is its own niche of in its own specific arena to learn. So that's something that I'm still learning myself. It's really interesting and really unique to go down the Ralph Lauren rabbit hole, but I'm still learning. Um, I'm really grateful that these sold though. They sold, eh, it took about a month, but I'm glad to see them go. I also sold these Vionic men's flip flops. These sold for $40 plus $10 shipping. These were a really fun find. I like finding Vionic because it's like a comfort wear brand and it tends to sell really quickly for me. So if you ever find it, keep your eyes peeled. These also sold in about a day. So these were a really quick flip. These are some Lucky Brand men's jeans. These sold for $36 plus $6 shipping. They are new with tags. Lucky Brand for men sells a lot better for me than Lucky Brand for women. That's something that I've just noticed. Especially the jeans. The Lucky Brand jeans for women will sit forever for me, but the jeans for men are going pretty quickly. So I'm really grateful for that. Happy to see these go out the door. So yeah, that's the overview of things that have sold this weekend. That's why I had a huge weekend. I'm really excited about my sales lately, you guys. Like I have I haven't even like listed everything that I've got here. I've got so many awesome things. Like as you can see back here, you know, I've got this bin full of shoes that I've listed. There's some like Nike retro dunks in there, um, the orange and white colorway. I have some North Face sitting back here. I just have a lot of really good stuff that I just need to get listing. Saturday was really busy. Last week was just honestly really busy for me and I didn't get as much done listing wise as I wanted to. Yeah, I have lots of sneakers and lots of fun things to list, but you know, my advice to you guys, you know, don't be afraid to branch out and try new things. That has been the theme of this year. I've not gotten into a lot of thrift stores. I've not gone to a ton of estate sales yet. I mean, garage sale season is just starting. I'm really excited to go explore some garage sales this year, but I'm also exploring mostly with online arbitrage, trying to make connections with people locally. And so far it's been pretty good, but I definitely hope to continue to take you guys along as I explore options for inventory and finding new things. It's out of my comfort zone. I'm very used to just buying things cheap, 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 as inexpensively as I can. But over the years I have grown some capital and I'm ready to let my money work for me a little bit. So we will see how it goes. Hopefully it pays off. I mean, my sales have been awesome. And while I am paying up a little bit more for the stuff that I'm buying, my profit has never been better. So that I can comfortably say, like um, to have a $12,000 a month on eBay is huge. That's the most I've ever sold. And at the same time, it's the most profit I've ever made. It's really exciting. Um, but I will continue to take you guys along. I want to practice just grabbing my camera and taking you guys along for each day that I'm just listing, sourcing, thrifting, finding all the things I'm trying to sell and taking you along for the ride. So yeah, along with trying new things with selling this year, I am trying some new things with YouTube and I really wanna put out some just helpful and informative content for you. Also geared towards just sharing a little bit more of my life and a little bit of how 
things run behind the scenes around here and I don't want to sugarcoat. It's not always pretty, but we make it work and I absolutely love my business. I wouldn't trade it for the world. So you guys are awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. I don't even think I can tell you without crying how much it means to me when I read your positive comments. I'll tell you this, when I'm having a hard day, last week was hard, I looked at your comments and I read them and it fills my heart. You guys are so nice and I don't think you even realize like what it does for me when I read your kind comments and your kind words that I've helped you in some small way. I appreciate every single one of you, I really do, and I mean that with my whole heart, and I'm not just emotional because I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, I really do mean that. You guys are the best. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Please drop in the comments below what more content you want from me. What can I give to you that would help you and help you grow your business? I would love to do that for you. Thank you again, you guys. I appreciate you. As always, take care, and I will catch you next time.